The calculators that a lot of students have when they take Calc 1 uh, can't do symbolic integration, meaning like they can't take the antiderivative of a function like 2x and say the antiderivative is x squared plus c. Some can, like the Inspire and some others, but most of your TIs, like the 83 and the 84 and the 86, can't do this symbolic integration. However, they can do definite integrals, not indefinite, but they can do definite integrals, which is where you find the area under a curve from one point to another. So I'm just gonna uh, quickly show you how to do this here. So let's say we had a definite integral like this example, integral from zero to three of one half x cubed minus two x squared plus x plus three. And so we want the area under the, uh, that curve from zero to three. All right, so what we're gonna do is we'll, we'll get our TI. And the, the first thing you're gonna do is graph it. So you'll go into y equals and you'll just type it in just verbatim, just type it in like, like so. And uh, before you push graph, uh, it's also a good idea to adjust your window because if the whole graph is not uh, in, in your viewing window, um, it's, it makes it a little bit more difficult to see the area that, that they're um, finding under the curve. So adjust your x-axis to be slightly beyond like zero to three. Um, I did minus two to six. And then also adjust your y value so you can see the lowest and the highest point that the function attains on that interval there. Okay, so once that's done, push graph. Now, I'll have a lot of students that'll get like error messages when they try to graph. And I would say nine out of 10, it's the same thing. So I'll go ahead and tell you as well. Uh, you have to make sure that your stat plots are off. It's the setting in the TI calculators. You'll look above the y equals menu. If you go second y equals, um, these should all be off. And so if one of them's on, oftentimes it'll create this issue where it won't graph uh, correctly. So you would just, you know, push enter and it's a little toggle switch. You just switch it from on to off and just make sure that they're, they're all off. So anyway, so we got, got this guy graphed and, uh, and so we're going to push, all right, follow me now. Second calc, second calc, that's the trace button there. And it'll bring up a, a list of options and you'll find number seven is the integral symbol. Now, some that throws some students off because it doesn't have the A to the B. And that looks like an indefinite integral, which doesn't mean area. That means like antiderivative. But I, I think it was just a case of they couldn't fit a little A and B in there. It was so small. That is, in fact, however, a definite integral, though. So if we scroll down and choose number seven, it's going to give you two options or two questions. Uh, the first, what's your lower limit of integration? Where do you want to start the integration? We want to start it at zero. So we'll push zero and push enter. So x equals zero. And then it'll say, what's, what do you want the upper limit of integration to be? And we'll type three as our, our problem said. And uh, we'll push enter and it will graph it. All right. So it'll show us that shaded area as well as tell us the area exactly, not an approximation, but exactly under that curve is 5.625, 5.625. So we'll go ahead and jot that answer down. And that's pretty much it. Um, there is another way to do it on your TI calculator that we're going to do in the next video where you can do definite integrals, not through this graphing process where you see the area is straight on the, the home screen. So it could be a little quicker for you. So um, you're welcome to check that one out. So um, just in summary here, um, here's, here's the list of steps. All right, step one is to graph your function and make sure your stat plots are off. Um, adjust your window, the X and Y axis, so you make sure you can uh, see everything on the function. And then we'll go second calc, and then that integral option, and pop in your lower limit of integration, your upper limit of integration, push enter, and the answer should pop up and gra even graph it for you, which is pretty nice because you're actually seeing the, uh, the area under the curve shaded in. So pretty cool. Um, so I hope that's a help to you guys.